Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to add your logo to your title block. So I have uh, currently the uh, template file for the commercial design. And uh, what you need to do is you need to edit the family of your title block. And you can do so from inside of the model that you're currently editing. So first thing you need to do is in the project browser go to the A100 sheet that's already been provided for you. So double click on that and you can see the current title block and what we want to do is we want to be able to add in our logo right here. So uh, what you would do is you would double click on the title block. That launches a separate editing session and if you look at the ribbon you can see the uh, a lot of the uh, tabs that were there before are no longer there. We're in a separate uh, editing uh, screen and uh, try to ignore all these horizontal lines. They're used as guides but here, here, and here, and uh, here, sorry here, 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 and the bottom line here are where the logo needs to go. Now we need to do it this way because making a change to the actual uh, family of the title block means that every new sheet you create is going to have the logo in the same location. You don't have to worry about placing it on multiple sheets manually. So I'm now going to go to the insert ribbon. I'm going to select image. And I already have a file uh, BIM logo, so I'm going to click open. Now it may be much larger than you want, but uh, you have grips that will allow you to shrink it down. And you will want to try to shrink it down to fit. inside of the use my arrow keys to position this a little more precisely so there is my logo and now if I go up to my ribbon you'll see load into project which will simply take the revised family and load it in your project but you stay in your editing session or load into project and close. Now it's going to ask you do you want to save your NSCC or your title block family as its own separate file, a uh, family file. You can always tell a family file because it ends with the letters RFA. Um, that's your choice. You don't need to do that. Uh, that is typically done when you want to create a separate uh, title block family that you may want to insert into other projects that do not have the title block already present. Um, I'm going to answer no to this. Now this dialog box uh, is identifying that we want to load uh, into our model something that already exists. Well we're replacing the old title block with the new title block so you click on overwrite existing version and you now should see your logo your title block. Uh, and that logo will be there for every new sheet you create. So if I right click on sheets in the project browser and select new sheet, I'm going to pick uh, this one here. And there's the title block with those grids on. We use that one for detailing and so on. The other one uh, is going to be just the metric 1819 and there it is without the guides okay so that is how it is done